Hi guys, welcome to my two year Big Chop update. So before my Big Chop I had this scraggly looking thin limp hair and I decided I had enough so I decided to cut little pieces off as you can see. But then I ended up with this. It was short, some parts were stringy, some parts were thin so I just decided on the 22nd November 2016 to just do my Big Chop. And as you can see guys I have new growth and lots of stringy parts which I decided to then cut off. So this is pretty much what my hair looked like after the big chop and this was in my sink. And this is what I looked like after doing the big chop. I decided to do a wash and go the very next day and this was the end result. Very cute but I wasn't comfortable with this style. So moving on to three months later. This was my hair blown out because I wanted to see what length I had gained. And this is how curly and healthy my hair looked. I was wearing my hair in buns and head scarves because I wasn't necessarily comfortable with my wash and goes but I did try another one here. Very cute but still not comfortable with it. Six months later I carried on doing my wash and goes and this is what I ended up with. My hair became quite coarse actually and my curls became very tight. So my hair appeared thicker but I wasn't happy with the length so I continued bunning my hair as you can see in this picture. Then from time to time I'd do my little updos with a headscarf. So nine months later, still wearing my buns and I can finally get my hair in a cute bun. And I carried on doing my wash and goes but because my hair was so curly as you can see I got a lot of shrinkage. But I still rocked it guys. So here I was doing a wash and go video and you can see how healthy and curly my hair looks. But my wash and go ended up looking like this and I hated it. So what I done was I stretched it with the hair dryer and I was much more happier with this look. So a whole year goes by since doing my big chop and this is the length that I've gained and I felt slightly more comfortable wearing my wash and goes but 15 months later this is really when I started getting into my wash and goes. I loved the length that I was getting and as my hair was getting longer my hair was starting to hang more and not growing so much out but more so downwards. Then it was time to do a little trim. I just dusted my ends and you can see this video if you click the link now. And this was the end result. So moving along 18 months, I now managed to have a nice full puff and also a nice big messy bun. I loved wearing my hair in this faux bob. I didn't want to cut my hair but I liked the bob so I kept doing this style for a while and it worked guys. Okay so 22 months later I was getting bored of my hair and I tried something new. I ombre my hair and also cut myself a fringe. And this was the end result once my hair was dried. I loved my hair, it was fuller, it was thicker and it had a nice shape to it. Then I decided to do these braids just to give my hair a rest from the wash and goes. And this was a quick length check. And this was my hair actually brushed out, not blown out. So this brings me on to the month of November. And this is my favourite go-to protective style. This was my hair combed out just before I was getting ready to dye it. And this is my hair dyed. Now once I dyed my hair, I'd done a protein treatment because my curls became a lot looser. And as you can see, now my curls are bouncy, they're juicy, my hair is healthy and I'm so happy with it. So this is my two year, 24 months guys big chop anniversary today and these are my results this is currently what I'm working with guys hope you like this video if you did go ahead and click the like button and subscribe today see you in the next one guys